Hi Elizabeth, this uh, is just a quick video of something I did very quickly just to show you the, the concept. Um, and then you have a choice of rendering it with um, shading or realistic. But I created a um, model based on a spline that's drawn on this vertical reference plane and kind of a profile or section through it so that it can sweep along that path. So here I'm drawing a spline on the vertical surface of this reference plane. Now you don't have to copy the reference plane because you'll use the one that's you can use the one that's already there. But here um, you might be a little more exact in how the form is uh, here. I used the spline to create the shape and then I'm going to pick up uh, a point element which is in the draw panel and click here once. It doesn't look like the points there but when you exit out you'll see this little point. You can select that point and it becomes the, you know, the, the working plane. You can use the viewer if you'd like. But I want to get kind of a sense of scale, so I draw right here in the 3D um, view. I'll draw a rectangle instead of a spline. And so now I drew a rectangle, and um, if I want, I can go back to the, the viewer so that I can work with getting rid of those um, lines at the ends and making those curves. I think um, a spline could be used, but... In the past, if we used this line, we had to use a little line to kind of close it off at the end. So now you select the spline and the shape that you created to sweep along that path and use create form so that you can save it and load it into the file. This is where you can work with whether you want to create a curtain system. Duplicate it though. Duplicate it so that you can um, work with how big the panels are. Uh, I worked with the 20 feet, and I'm trying the 30 feet, but I think the 20 feet works well. It depends on the scale of yours, too. So you can um, select that model face and pick Create System, but first um, duplicate it. And use your Tab key to tab through to select the panels themselves. And so one option is to use also a basic wall. And so for the for the end part, so it's up to you, but I would duplicate the basic five inch wall and then change under structure the material. Now you can work in this material uh, browser a little bit with whatever material you, you'd like. Um, the graphics tab is the one that will show up for the shading and the appearance tab is the one for the realistic view uh, and the actual rendering. You don't have to render these so it looks like the shading might actually look better. You can see that you know the white and the blue that you can establish right in the graphics and appearance tab for that material and I'm really just looking at the different trees is the detail it doesn't have to be exact um, I put some uh, a, a, a layer of um, topography down to give it kind of a base and then put some trees in to make it look a little bit like the like the picture um, but if you could work a little bit more with the spline to make it 
um, um, make it look a little more like the photo and um, transparency the transparency of the of the glass panels you see how I started to with the one in the background work with the different blues to get a darker blue so you might end up with a kind of a bluish black or whatever you see in your in your project there okay so really just to get a sense for using the modeling tools to create a form that's similar to the one that um, you might see um, as built or proposed building structures. Okay, so I hope this helps and have fun. Keep in touch, please.